go of it for two of the greatest athletes of all time lately. Tom Brady and LeBron James are synonymous with greatness and most of all winning. But Tom Brady's still a reigning Super Bowl champ, obviously, but his team has lost two straight and his coach says they're playing dumb football. LeBron is two years removed from a championship, but has struggled with injuries that have kept him off the court and put his team in a slump. You may have heard, but Stephen A. has strong thoughts on what's next for King James. Let's run it back. I think LeBron has won his last title. I think it's over. Okay. I'm glad, I'm glad 15 games into the season you feel that way. It's not, it's not LeBron's fault. I believe this is the last championship LeBron James is going to win. Meaning it is over. Ain't no more championships mm. coming. That's exactly what I'm doing. Oh. I am eulogizing LeBron James. I want to say congratulations to LeBron James for a wondrous, <sighs> illustrious career. Wow. Yeah, that just happened. I, I mean, I need to take a moment, but I have to read. Uh, despite getting off this to an 8-8 eight and eight start this season, LeBron and the Lakers have the second shortest odds to win the NBA title at Caesars Sportsbook. Down south, Tampa Bay also has the second shortest odds to win the pro football championship, trailing only Buffalo. Kendrick Perkins joins us now. Hi, Perk. Good to see you. I know, a lot happened. I think it looks very nice in blue. Stephen, they fix your face when I come over here, man. Well, let me tell you what, you know can, what I, can, I, can I tell you what my problem is? Ooh. Can I tell you what my problem is? Ooh. The blazer is really, really nice. I've just seen it twice <laughs> in the last seven go. days. I've seen it twice in the last seven days. I need, an, I need another blazer. What is wrong with you? I need another blazer. I, can't. Hey. I, need another blazer. Hey. I cannot hey. believe this no, is happening listen, right listen, now. Listen, listen, let me tell you something. When, you, when you're traveling from Houston to L.A. every week and you're yeah. only at home for two but days, then you got to okay. mix it up. Okay. Got you gotta it. mix yeah. it up. You gotta listen, mix it up. Listen, you know what I'm is this epi you is this an episode of Mean Girls? I know. Like, what you Thank doing, you. Stephen? A? Thank you, Ryan. And I just got. I, I just got to make sure you win. I just make sure you win. Oh, so you could get on me. You I could know. stroll in the studio, fly in from Louisiana, saunter into this studio, and brag about your wardrobe. But I say something, and I'm being clean. I'll be clean. <laughs> I'd be clean though. Let's let's go. Go. I'm just saying. I'm gonna deal with Ryan. I'm gonna deal with Ryan when I see him. I'm gonna deal with Ryan when I see him. My goal in life, whenever I travel, is to never check a bag. So I am right there with you. We will leave I'm it on that note. I feel right? y'all on that. I, I mean, that wastes that. like two hours of <laughs> I time feel in your life. On that. Okay, Ryan. Who's more correct. likely? Producers are real angry at me. Who's more so, likely to win okay. a type? I am a rule follower. Okay, Have you not okay. learned this? I'm not. Let's go. <laughs> Who is more likely to win a title this season, LeBron or Brady? Listen, Ryan, despite you, what yeah. Stephen A. Yeah, despite what Stephen A. Crip Keeper has been saying about <laughs> LeBron James, despite the eulogy, the eulogies that he's written, despite all of the goodbyes that he said, it's LeBron James. Because I love Tom Brady. Tom Brady is the greatest of all time. He's the greatest player. He's the greatest quarterback. But he <coughs> plays a game that got to go offense, defense, special teams. He plays a game that if you watched last season, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers don't win the Super Bowl because of Tom Brady. Now, I know he could be the catalyst and he could be the base and he could be the foundation and getting him makes you believe and he does play well and a ton of spurts during last season but he wasn't playing his best football in the playoffs when he threw three interceptions against the Green Bay Packers he wasn't the reason they won against the New Orleans Saints it was the rest of the team and guess what Stephen A the rest of the team ain't as good right now they're actually from what Bruce Arians says dumb football players here's what I know about LeBron James and Kendrick Perkins can back me up on this I'm sure Every team LeBron James is on and LeBron James is healthy, that team has a great chance of going to the finals. Period. If LeBron James is healthy and LeBron James is ready to roll, there is no player in basketball in the, his, the entire era that he's been playing that changes the fortune of basketball teams like he does. Whether it's defensively, whether it's floor general, whether it's scoring, whatever you need in those weeks of the playoffs, LeBron James has provided it over every player that's living right now, that's playing basketball actively. And so to Tom Brady can change the fortunes of an NFL football team more than LeBron James can. An NBA basketball team is crazy. Dude is one of the greatest players of all time. I think when it's over, we're going to have to admit it's the greatest career of all time. And for the way that you've been acting, Stephen Naismith, you must have
have forgot all that basketball you've watched to go against LeBron James like this because he's been a better man than Aaron Rodgers ever was, who you talk about more than Tom Brady. Ooh, he I have. He preaches. So stay, stay, stay right there. Stay right there because I know you said I'll take care of Ryan right now. I'll take care of Ryan right now with his drivel. It don't matter to me what the hell he just said. I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. <laughs> it's, it's, I, I, I ain't going to shut why. up and dribble, though. I, I, I'm going to tell you why. I said drivel, not dribble. But here's the deal. Look up the word. That's number one. Here's the deal. If you want to ask, answer the question about Brady or LeBron, okay, I give you that. I understand where you're coming from, okay? I'm not going there. Let me go back to where, okay. I, where I was. LeBron ain't winning the championship. It's over. Because the, Warriors? the Golden State Warriors are in the Western Conference. I didn't say that LeBron wasn't great. I would remind you I have him on my Mount Rushmore. I don't have Aaron Rodgers on my Mount Rushmore, even though he's a bad man. I understand the greatness of LeBron James and what he has done. Put Ryan Clark back up on that screen with uh, Kendrick Perkins. Let me tell you something, Ryan Clark. Let me tell you something, Ryan Clark. Um, I've lost three <laughs> times with my predictions where I picked LeBron James to win the title. I picked him to beat Dallas. I picked him to beat the Spurs, okay? I did that, all right? One one time with them, lost another time with them. What I'm saying to you is that it ain't like the man's got a flawless record. I'm not knocking him. I know the greatness of LeBron James. And by the way, I told Perk this yesterday. When LeBron was hurt and he comes back, I said, yo, at 36, approaching 37 in his 19th season, I expect this brother to be every bit as great as we expect him to be. I think it's a damn shame that the rest of the Lakers are relying on a man entering his 19th year to do what he does instead of stepping up and helping him more so he doesn't have to do those things. But none of that. I ain't throwing no shade. I'm getting ready to go to Boston tonight to watch the Lakers. Where do you now? Both of y'all know me well. Love both of y'all like brothers. <laughs> Where the hell do I want to be in June? Yeah. Why do I want to be? At? Do, you, do you have any in idea how much it hurts me <laughs> to believe that I'm gonna be in the damn Bay Area in San Francisco instead of La La? You think I want to say this? You think I want yeah. to be in San Francisco? It's Kenny Burkett. You know me. You see that smile on my face when I'm in when I'm in L.A. Come on, Don't bro. Start. But, Don't but start. Joe, but Joe, we talking basketball. And when I see what I'm seeing with the Warriors, and they're younger than LeBron, and LeBron's got two, three years left max, I don't believe, I don't believe he's leaving L.A., so he's going to be a Laker. And I believe as long as he's out there with the Lakers, they ain't getting past Golden State. That's my position. You know what, Stephen A., I'm going to get at you in a minute. True. I got to get at my brother Ryan Clark for a second and stay on the topic, right? You like to break the rules. I'm going to follow the rules, which means I'm going to follow the topic. More likely to win this season, Brady or LeBron. And you know how I feel about LeBron James. And it's not LeBron James that I don't trust. It's the others. You just talked about it, Stephen A. But when we mm -hmm. talk about Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, we talk about a team that just came off of winning the championship, Ryan Clark. And you, of all people, should know better being a former champion yourself yeah. that that <laughs> next season, that that yeah. next season, yeah, yeah, that that next season, you know that when you go and play in the regular season, you're going to get every team's best. So I know that Tampa Bay mm -hmm. has lost a few games lately, but they're the champions. Sometimes you get bored with the process. Sometimes your coach has to come out publicly and wake you up and call you a dumb football team just to wake you up, just to send a message. Here's the thing. I know what I'm going to get out of Tom Brady supporting Cats. Right now, I don't know what I'm going to get out of LeBron James supporting Cass. I'm not talking about Anthony Davis, who he won a championship with. I'm talking about the play of Russell Westbrook right now. He's the X Factor. So when I look at Tom Terrific and look at what he's doing, his leadership skills, I feel like when it matters the most and the time gets close, I feel like the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are going to elevate their game and that's why I'm picking Brady 
So most you likely win the so... championship over LeBron. You know what, man? Like I, 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 I thought I was like I'm gonna be on here with Perk. Perk always makes a ton of sense when it comes to basketball. Unlike Stephen A, Perk is gonna see this the way I see it. And and then Perk's always and and then so for, for for Perk to forget that you know even when Russell Westbrook was with Washington last year, the year started off shaky. It was terrible shooting. But as Russell Westbrook continued in the year, as Russell Westbrook started to feel itself out, Russell Westbrook played like great basketball going down the stretch and if not for an ankle injury I believe he's more competitive and that team's more competitive in the playoffs they got the Washington Wizards to the playoff without without uh Pope without Montrez Harrell without Kyle Kuzma that they had to trade for Russell Westbrook Russell Westbrook did that and for you to go against Russ like this why not Russ Kendrick and LeBron James bruh I get it no. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers brought everybody back. That team ain't playing the same. Yep. Shaq Barrett yep. ain't rushing the quarterback the same. Devin White, Levante David ain't dominating. The secondary is Can injured. AB is out. Yep. Rob Gronkowski is out. Hey, right. Can he respond? Right, right. 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 Let Can't me say go this. Ahead, man. And, and, and Stephen A., I, I was excited about coming on here with Ryan Clark as well. But as a real brother, you need a real brother to tell you what you need to hear and not what you want to hear. Not what you want to hear. Yeah, so I gotta tell you, I gotta tell you what you need to hear. And Stephen A can tell you that how I feel, and you know this, how I feel about Russell Westbrook. But we can't compare last year to him for him being in Washington and what he did for the Wizards. Because it wasn't no expectations. It wasn't no pressure. Now you go back home where you're from, born and raised, and you go play with LeBron James for the Los Angeles Lakers, one of the most historical yep. franchises in NBA history. So at the end of the day, it's a lot of pressure, Ryan Clark. I'm not knocking.